What's the most important thing to consider before you cut your grass, Jason? Making sure your mow is set to the right height. That's important, but before we even get that stage, there's something really important. It's making sure that you have a sharp lawnmower blade. In today's video, we're going to show you some inexpensive ways that anyone can sharpen their own lawnmower blade to make sure that they're getting a really good quality of cut. Let's do that. Now I've got the blade off the mower, it's time to get it cleaned up. Whether it be mechanically with one of these wire brushes or a hand brush, this is what I'm going to start with. To speed this up, I'm going to get the drill out, get this into the vise and use one of these wheels. Now that Jason's got the more blade all cleaned up for us, yep. let's do some sharpening. So we're going to talk about the tools that we're going to use today for the sharpening. The first one is the file. Now all these tools were bought off Amazon. If you want to support the channel, the links will be down in the video description. The file, any decent file is going to cost you between five and 10 pounds. Next tool. Is the sharpening wheel. I believe you've got two of these in the pack. Under a tenner. Yeah. Really good. Just attaches to your drill. And then there is the flat disc for your grinder. And what else? Not everybody has a grinder though. Not, not everyone has a grinder. What else is important if you're going to be right. doing this? Safety first. Now let's look at what side to start sharpening first. As you can see, the file does a fantastic job. It's just not the fastest. Here's the one we've done with the file. Next, we're going to go onto the stone. But before we do that, we need to give the blade a quick clean. So you can really see how quick that tool is at cleaning off the blades compared to the brush. You can't do it with the brush, but this here definitely speeds it up. What do you think, Jason? Oh, nice so, much, so much easier with, yeah. the, with, the, with the drill. Don't forget when using the sharpening stone to match the angle of the stone with the angle of the blade. Another thing to note when using the stone on the drill, make sure you've got the drill spinning the right way because if you don't, it'll undo itself off the stone. It's a nice tidy job that. Now I've had a go with the sharpening stone. Let's flip this blade over and have a go with the flap disc. That's a lot quicker. <laughs> I'll just run it up the back of the blade there, just to take any burrs off. That, were, that may have been created from sharpening this side. Right, before we go on to the next part, just go over the tools that we've used for sharpening. If you don't have a drill, the file does a fantastic job. The sharpening stone on the drill, I felt left a really nice finish. But if you do have quite a bit of damage in the blade, the grinder with the paddle sander on it does a fantastic job at lifting off the material to get that damage out. This little tool here is absolutely key if you want to sharpen your mower blade. What it does is it helps you balance the blade. If you sharpen your mower blade and you don't balance it afterwards then you risk damaging your tools so let's see how this works now the moment of truth yeah what do you think i think we've done a good job so let's let's find out so our yep. first blade that was with the file yep so remember folks if you don't balance your blade 
you risk damaging yourself or your equipment or someone else. So yeah. that's a pretty good job. That's there nice. Go. That's nice and level. Next up, we have the stone. Yeah, that was a stone in the drill. So something I would say it might be useful as well if you're not if you don't do a lot of mechanics. Whenever you take these off to mark them. Yep. So as you know which one's the top and which one's the bottom. This one here, hard to put this one up on upside down. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. This one here has different mountain holes, so you can't. You can't ah, put it can only go on one way on the mower. So always just always just check. But if you're not that comfortable, just mark them. Yeah. Top and bottom. So what do you think? This one was the stone. Yeah, that was the stone. There you go. Pretty good. How are you feeling? Two out of three. How are you feeling? Are you feeling? Are you feeling? Are you feeling comfortable? Yeah. Uh, should yeah. I be? <laughs> <laughs> so what was this? That was with the grinder. That's the grinder. Right. The moment of trust. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oops. Did you do that one? <laughs> <laughs> so we're <laughs> we're going to say we just. I got Jason to take an extra bit off, just to show you that it's not balanced. So that's one that you're going to have to do. A wee bit of. Yeah, have to fix. So the side that's dropped down the most obviously is heavier. So you need to take, take a bit more off that side. So to bring it up level, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's get on it. We recently did a video on cheap long care tools. So if you want to see more tools and tips like this, head over to this video here.